Hello, I'm Thomas Weber from Probare. I would like to show you today our latest field test tool for an ocean, or P30. Uh, with the P30 you can uh, do a lot of things during site survey, during installation and commissioning, in case you need to trace uh, anything out there in the field, and uh, you even can use it for logging and uh, data post-processing on an ocean data. I would like to show you the capabilities of the device. So we have here different, uh, different areas. The one is the radio network analysis. The next one is using the device as a repeater. You can do radio link test during site survey. You can do remote management. And of course you can connect it by USB to a PC and the software. Let's start with the radio network analysis. You will now see the live monitor and all what you see here is the traffic that is on the air. It's all radio messages according to the Inotion standard. The blinking here shows you that uh, we have a lot of traffic. This is the Inotion ID and it shows that there is a direct radio link so no repeater. Uh, is operational here. In case there are non in ocean signals or interference signals, you would see them here on the bar below. What you can do is capture one of those IDs and get more information on the radio part, no repeater as said before, and even on the data itself. Let's go out. If you want to do a logging for one hour, one day or one week, simply take radio to file and all the data goes to the USB stick applied to the P30 here on the right side. Again you see the IDs, you see the blinking antenna symbol, all goes to the USB stick, the in ocean traffic as well as the non in ocean uh, frequency occupancy. Let's make that for a while and see what we can do with those files. Stop again, go down, go down. And now we are going to analyze the files. This is the list of uh, log files that we have on the USB stick. Go in and immediately you see that here now, within those 20 seconds, we had three different Inotion IDs. One, very good signal quality, two others at low signal quality. You can do statistics, you see the number of messages that we got within this short time and if required you can dig into the details and you even can dig into the detailed data per each message. That's a screen we also had during the live uh, monitoring. What do those uh, bars mean? A maximum is four bars, that would mean uh, the transmitter is in the direct proximity. Uh, two or three is really very fine for installation, good reliability that you like out there in the field. If there is only one bar, uh, one should be careful with installation because reliability could suffer all the time. Let's go back. That was the radio network analysis. Let's now come to the repeater mode. Now you're on the repeater postmaster uh, menu. You can select whether it's repeater level 1, repeater level 2, whether you add a postmaster. Let's stay with the level 1 and simply let's switch on a repeater. And now the P30 acts as a repeater. You can identify the best location out in the field and then buy a repeater, install it, and see that it's really gonna work. Stop it, yes. The radio link test uh, with a second P30 or an EPM300 from an ocean, you can do a radio link test. Uh, during installation, put the one device at the place of a controller and the other at the place of a switch or a sensor and you will, get, uh, you will get reliability data, the radio link quality, with a 
four digit bar graph that we had before. You can do remote management. Let's see whether we have remote manageable devices around here. I'm not sure, but let's try. Mm, doesn't seem like that. Nope, there are none. Let's make that in a later video, how that works. And, as we said before, you can connect the P30 either via via ESP30 to the Dolphin View from an ocean or via uh, the Pro 1.0 uh, interface to, an, to a software upcoming from Probari.